So uh, thank you, Stephanie, for saying we are a pioneer. I'm not so sure if that's very kind of you. <laughs> so you can, uh, you, you can uh, decide by yourself when you will see the, the, the presentation. I think the interesting uh, thing I, I saw in that uh, conference is there is, in fact, a, a stream of uh, initiatives towards the public se sector. We heard about uh, uh, the initiatives in, in Spain where there is a stream in this uh, a program uh, around digitalizing uh, the public sector. Uh, I think we heard a uh, uh, local search t t saying that they acquired a company that operates websites for municipalities. Discussing with other colleagues, I heard other kind of initiatives around uh, managing the data uh, and the content of uh, municipalities, so there is quite a number of things, and uh, indeed uh, for us coming from a, a YP background, it, it should have been done uh, certainly earlier because uh, uh, there is a significant part of the searches done by uh, our users that are uh, about uh, uh, searching for town halls, schools, uh, stadiums, all kind of public uh, equipments, and, uh, and, 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 and for so local, it's been only uh, uh, recent since we uh, try to address that. So I, I will come to that just to uh, maybe introduce uh, so local to uh, those who, who don't know it. Uh, know it sorry. Um, our uh, mission is to vitalize local life. So that has a lot to do with uh, municipalities that are themselves trying to vitalize their local life. There are a lot of stakes around uh, town centers, for instance, dynamization, uh, that we want to uh, uh, work on also and help them with. Uh, and we uh, plan to do that by providing uh, small shops with a, a number of digital services that can help them uh, being up to date on taking advantage of the opportunities that uh, digital provides to connect with uh, potential customers and bring them to the, to the local shops. Um, so our uh, main assets uh, to do that are, uh, as I mentioned, a range of services that is quite uh, comprehensive, as uh, many of you also have, but uh, all, also all of this being integrated in one single app so that it's easy for uh, small businesses to uh, uh, take advantage of these services and not being lost in the complexity of having too, too many things to manage separately. And we tap also on uh, some uh, exclusive uh, advantages that we have in France, like uh, uh, preferential partnerships with uh, uh, almost all of the main um, uh, publishers, so where uh, local customers will start, uh, search for uh, local shops. So that's, that's about it. Uh, so uh, in a nutshell, uh, our uh, product portfolio is split into three ranges. One is around the marketing digital essentials for SMBs, uh, starting with uh, presence management, but also including transactional services like appointment booking, uh, e-reputation, uh, CRM, and the ability to operate uh, marketing campaigns to uh, the customer base of uh, the local shops. Second family is around websites, so both uh, showcase and uh, e-commerce website. And third family is uh, for uh, the local shops that want more than organic presence optimization, but that want to get a boost and get more uh, customers coming to their uh, uh, shops. So it's about bringing priority of, uh, on uh, our own and operating media, which is passion, but also operating uh, campaigns where we commit to a number of contacts or a number of clicks or a number of exposure or even a, a number of visits to the store that we are able to, to track. Um, what is important also while uh, addressing uh, the public se sector it is to uh, uh, be committed to be a responsible company. So I won't go through that, but we have some strong commitments on uh, all aspects uh, of the regulation and beyond. Uh, so IT security, respect of personal data, obviously, accessibility, something um, we have worked on. We have 83% uh, of uh, uh, usage on page zone, so which is our main media, which is uh, uh, accessibility compliant. And so we have still opportunities to 
work on other products uh, on that aspect. And uh, CSR also is, uh, is uh, something, uh, something where we are uh, strongly committed. Um, this, these are some examples of the ratings we get. So uh, it, it's not self-explicit because in some cases it's about rankings. In some uh, cases it's a, a, a not. So I won't go into that, but uh, we are trying to uh, achieve and to progress uh, on that path to being uh, I mean, in the, in the best uh, uh, players on uh, each of uh, these aspects. Um, so what, what, what about the needs of the, of the users? Obviously, it won't come as a surprise. These are the same needs as when uh, users are looking for uh, uh, a company. Uh, when it comes to uh, being put in touch with an administration, they want uh, to be uh, to, that to be as simple as possible and to uh, do that quick. So uh, that's what we are trying to uh, help uh, the administrations and municipalities with is uh, how to uh, uh, meet these uh, expectations of the of the citizens. So uh, what does that mean in terms of solutions? Here are some uh, some examples. So uh, when COVID came, there was a stake for uh, municipalities to uh, make sure uh, local shops that were closed uh, or that had restrictions uh, could be uh, sharing uh, easily with uh, their customers. Uh, if there was click and collect possibilities, if there were restrictions, how the opening hours were changing, etc. Uh, and so we, uh, we reached out to uh, municipalities, but also uh, regions as, uh, as big as the, the, the south uh, uh, east region, so Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur, for those who know, or Hauts de France, which is in the, in the northern side of, uh, of France. And we propose them to provide uh, a dedicated version of Page Jaune under their colors and integrated into their website where they could uh, surface this information, which was uh, the same as, as, as provided by Page Jaune, and where they could make it easy for uh, their local shops to update the information and take advantage of this solution like click and collect that was uh, useful at the time. Uh, and so we have uh, had a huge success with uh, some, uh, some important regions. I did not mention Ile de France, so which is uh, the Paris region also, which we, we, we worked with. And so we have today uh, 19 local uh, directories being operated with whether regions or municipalities taking advantage of that, which is uh, really a win-win-win uh, thing because for us it's bringing us uh, additional traffic in a separate property, but uh, always something that is uh, uh, integratable to um, uh, the, the, the ROI that we provide to our customers. Uh, for regions and uh, municipalities, for them a way to help uh, their businesses and businesses get uh, additional uh, exposure. So if you want to see some examples of this, uh, they are all uh, accessible through the local partner.fr uh, URL. So please, please have a look. Uh, you will see uh, all, all the examples possible. Also, by, by the way, what you will see on, uh, on this um, on this page is also we are using the same approach to build a verticalized uh, niche uh, directories, so which was also uh, something that uh, local search was uh, pointing out uh, during the, the CEO panel. So an, another example of how we, we use that approach for uh, different opportunities. So that was the first way we addressed really in a structured manner uh, local authorities, and then. Uh, we, uh, here, are, here is an example of, of, the, of the impact of a, a locality close to, uh, to Paris. So we, we get a, a good SEO ranking when you are looking for a boulangerie in that town. Uh, in fact, uh, the, the dedicated directory comes even on top of, uh, of Pajon, which is uh, the second result in, in Google. So we are really taking a, a market share, let's say, of the, of the Google SERP, uh, which is even, even wider and driving uh, users to uh, our uh, service. Um, 
Another um, example also we are um, working on, but we still have progress to do on that, is uh, how to promote the public services in the Yellow Pages uh, uh, service. Here you can see, for instance, that uh, uh, the French uh, state had, had, uh, has had an initiative of creating service branches in a more remote uh, part of the, of the territory to make sure that everyone uh, in the French territory uh, has access to the, to the, to the most uh, needed uh, public services. So we have, uh, we have worked with the administration to get the better uh, presence management, let's say, uh, of uh, all these, uh, these branches so that they can be found easily by uh, the users. Uh, you can see that uh, has resulted in quite a, a strong impact and, and a strong usage. There have been like 15 million uh, searches on a year, uh, which has resulted in uh, 8 million contacts. So uh, quite, uh, quite a lot of, uh, of uh, use uh, for uh, that network of uh, service branches. Second topic, which um, also uh, relates to the what I was sharing about the needs uh, expressed by the, uh, the, the citizen is to uh, have a, an easy and quick process when it comes to uh, administrative needs. So what we have done has, has been to uh, uh, provide uh, and propose uh, our appointment booking solutions to uh, administrations to uh, uh, fluidify in a way uh, the way uh, they, they can do this, uh, this task uh, and go to the, to the town hall or wherever uh, they have to go uh, easily without having to wait for uh, a long time on, on the phone. So very, very simple, this was a, a product that uh, was existing uh, obviously for, uh, for companies, but we did just customize the approach for uh, municipalities and administrations. Again, same town uh, uh, close to Paris. Uh, in one year, there have been like 21,000 appointments booked through uh, uh, the solution we provided to that uh, municipality. Uh, knowing that this is a city, I think, which is 80,000 people, uh, it is quite a lot of appointments compared to the, to the population. Third thing, uh, some of the uh, regions or uh, other local authorities told us, uh, look, we have a need. Uh, we, we don't know how to inform quickly our uh, citizens about uh, something that is uh, important for them, we think. And so we have uh, at so local and maybe something what, that was not uh, summarized in the product range that I show, we, have also, uh, we are also proposing uh, direct marketing campaigns. Uh, and so we have proposed to um, this region, for instance, uh, direct marketing campaigns, again at the time of COVID, so that they, not only they did implement uh, the, the portal I, I show, but they did also promote uh, that portal uh, to uh, their uh, citizens. So there was a, a, a double benefit for us uh, because uh, the promotion was also uh, done by, uh, by ourselves. Uh, so you can see examples of that. It was at the time of, uh, uh, of Christmas, and so the, the positioning was, was very clear. Uh, go and help uh, our local stores. Uh, don't go to, uh, to Amazon. Uh, be solidar uh, while uh, we are uh, facing uh, COVID. Um, another example, which is more specific, is in the same region on the, on the Riviera. Uh, where there was a, a, a train line uh, that had been closed for a while that was reopening. We uh, operated a, a direct marketing campaign targeting specifically uh, citizens that were located in the areas that were uh, uh, where the train line was. So that's another example of uh, what we can provide to, uh, to a local uh, authority. So, in, uh, in conclusion, uh, today uh, some more uh, figures are uh, in that public sector vert vertical, we have 
uh, a bit less than 1,500 customers already, and uh, on the appointment booking side, to 2,000, uh, two, sorry, 256 uh, customers. So that's only the beginning because it's only uh, since uh, really last year that we started to structure this approach. So while uh, last year we had uh, 1 million uh, euro sales uh, on that vertical, we anticipate this year and uh, next year to uh, ramp up and to uh, gain additional million euros uh, revenue stream uh, thanks to this approach, which again, uh, is only at the beginning, uh, so I think we can do more, uh, also learning from uh, uh, what has been said on that, uh, in that conference. Thank you very much. I'm uh, available for questions. Thank you, Bruno. Any questions? Uh, I have one. So. Uh, you're, it's just at the beginning, as you say, and you. How do you envisage the the integration of uh, public procurement? You know, and and like uh, being uh, the middleman, try, uh, enabling better uh, communication between procurement and and the possibility for uh, businesses to apply. That's uh, yeah. I think we are not there yet, to be totally sincere. <laughs> but that's a good point to integrate in our uh, uh, thoughts about yeah next steps. Do you have a special sales force for it, or uh, for this segment, or do you use your main sales force? Yeah, we have a, a dedicated uh, sales force. The profile is coming more from the large account uh, team, so someone who is able to have very uh, dedicated uh, conversation, so very customized approach. Uh, and uh, we know that in the public sector, uh, it often takes time to make decisions. So uh, uh, to your point, yeah, we, it's not the standard uh, sales rep who is able to, to do that. So yeah, we are ramping up on the number of people in that sales force, so it's quite small today, but uh, it will uh, remain uh, dedicated, yes. Hi, Bruno. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. So a, a couple of questions. Uh, your uh, the, the booking uh, functionality you have mentioned is it a propriet proprietary uh, solution or is it a uh, let's say a public one available in the market? And the second question is um, apart from having this uh, relationship with the local authorities and making business with them, do you have any strategy uh, regarding upselling or value-added selling on, 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 the, on the small businesses that, that join this initiative? So on, on your first question, um, so the, the presence management solution is uh, ours. Uh, the um, uh, appointment booking solutions uh, is ours also, uh, resulting from a, an acquisition we, we did uh, like 10, 10 years ago, so very integrated to our uh, product portfolio. And direct marketing is also uh, something we have been doing uh, historically with uh, uh, company within the group uh, being, uh, doing that. I think for what we are not doing, for instance, websites, we would have to uh, rely on a partner. We today work with, uh, with Duda, so that could be investigated, whether uh, with Duda or uh, if there are any specificities that would need to uh, uh, look at uh, a different type of website for that target uh, that, that, that could be investigated. So that, that, that's about yeah, uh, the, the, the products. And uh, about the, the upsell strategy, yes, it is still quite new, but uh, you're right. Uh, I think we have to, uh, to establish uh, an approach where we have an entry point and uh, a way to, to, uh, to to upsell. I think that the, the, the current entry point has been more uh, proposing the portal I was, uh, I was showing, so the yellow pages type of portal, and uh, that uh, made us entering into an, uh, a more global conversation with, the, with the, the local authority, typically in uh, the southwest, uh, southeast sorry, region. From that, we uh, 
uh, worked with them on the direct marketing campaigns, uh, so that was the trigger for the, the conversation. Now that COVID hopefully uh, is more or less gone, uh, maybe the entry point will be different, so uh, I, I'm not sure we have the, the, the full visibility on, on it today, but I think presence will certainly be a, a good entry point, and uh, we, we are going to, to work on this, yes. Any other questions? Okay. Well, thank you very much, Bruno. Thank and, you very uh, much. Interesting team.